नवयुग हमें राम क्रस को आशा करवयुग श्रेष्ठ बाट तर राम क्रस होना सकें भर्खर मत चोट मुक्त भर मैदान में फर्क नवयुग श्रेष्ठ राष्ट्रीय टीम में फर्क नवयुग श्रेष्ठ बा हमी क्रस को अपेक्षा कर फोर क्रस अनंत तामा गलती करी सकता थे तर हमी तारीफ करने पर्ने किरण कुमार लिंबू को निके नहीं राो टाइमिंग उनको अगि बढ़े बल्ल आप निंत्रण में लिना सफल हलसासी पीट भैस थे अनंत बल दिन अगि बढ़ी सकता थे नबील तर किरण कुमार लिंबू को उत्कृष्ट बचाओ निके नहीं सुझबूझ पूर्ण तरीका अगि बढ़े आप निंत्रण में लिना सफल किरण कुमार लिंबू विशाल राय फाउल रोविस जुत्ता को फिता अलग कुकुलो कारण बल्ला धेरे बेल होल्ड कर न सकने कारण पे बल्ला टर्च लाइन बाहर पठाई दे किरण कुमार लिंबू ने मैदान बाहर पठाई दे कैप्टेन विराज महर्जन ने उनको फिता कसिल होने कर बांधी देखा क्योंदी यदि बल प्रहार करने क्रम में बोट खुट्टा बड़ा निस्क खंड में येलो कार्ड पाने हो फुटबल को लज अफ द गेम बा यमन लाई थ्रोइन फाउल फ्रिकिक रोहित हेमन नवील को हैंड अनंत तामांग विशाल महादी चांदी रोहित सफल भैन उनको खुट्टा में लगे बल बाहर गई थ्रो इन यमन लादी कमल बैकपास अनंत शुरुआती बीस पच्चीस मिनट में जो लय सामती को थोड़ी लय लरता दिन सकि कमल श्रेष्ठ फ्रिकिक 
Concentration Gumunu Pagi Kajan and the Tamangli Agla Kotka Yaman Kakalari of the Roku Pony on the Nepali. Kiran Kumar Limbu Al Matari ko free kick prahar Way out Goal kick Nepal lai Wow, wonderful time. Al Ayas goes, Christian Batao, corner kick, Nepal Lai. Anjan Bishop again, guys, and Philippini corner kick, Prahar Gana Kalagi. Anjan go corner kick. But keep a confident team on the other. Vishal Rai Pani confident dekhi hai nan. Nikhi ne hai misho shot Vishal Rai ko. Bharat Prahar garna chaande Bharat ko Nikhi Ramro Prahar thiyo roki diye gathe te hain Al Radele. Oh, and Jan Bista Ko Nikene Shandar Prahar Theo, goalkeeper Ali Ayasli, Ramro block Garete Niki Ramro contest by Rikas and Nepalra Yaman Kupisma Foul the play on Kuishara referee batter Advantage Dina Chante Saiduni Nepalai Biraz. Goal kick Yamalai. Kelko Tri Sati Minute Pura by Gusa, I listen to the team, but a Kunipani goal on a Saki Gusa and the Bitubi team. Goal Kalagi, Nirantar Prayas, Rotra Gusa. Ball to the Volia, no yuk, no yuk across, no yuk across, receive Gondokalagi Barat Ball Summer, Pugna Sakinan, Nikaine Ramro Vasartio, Nepal Kalagi, Arko Ramro, Avasar Gumakusa Nepali, Sunol Avasartio, Nepal, like Kilma Grotalini, no yukle, Nikine Mehenat Karikatiokta, cross Kornakalagi. Clearance on the Tamanko throw in Rovis Butter Kiran Libaldi Kazan Sujalai. 
चंद अग्रसिव देखी कुछ नेपाल आइले अंजन बिस्ता रामरो ब्लॉक ते हाँ वादे बाट मोदी रोल वादे रामरो वशर भारत सीधे गोल पोस्ट पा अलर्ट ते ते हाँ अयाश लगभग 25 इयर्स डिस्टेंस बाटे सीधे गोल पोस्ट पर प्रहार करके ते भारत कवाश ले माथी नियंत्रण को उन पुकी शॉक के गति पिशाल राय ले लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में अंजन बिस्ता पिशाल राय फेरी रोहितन साइड चेंज करेगा सा साइड वाइप बाटा बॉल गाड़ी लाने प्रयास में ले कमल सेस्टा पिशाल राय बैक पास दिए गति उनले सुजल राय सुजल हल्का चिपली ने पुकी गति नियंत्रण को मनु पुकी उनले संतुलन को उन्होंने पुकी गाती है। माधी ही फिली मध्यभाग में बॉल दिया कैसन? ओ फ्रीकिक प्राप्त करी कुछ आइले यमले निकने रामर स्पॉट बाटा फ्रीकिक प्राप्त करी कुछ आइले यमले लगभग तीस पैंतीस यार्ड को डिस्टेंस बाटा सेंटर ऑफ़ द फील्ड बाटा फ्रिकी को उसे प्राप्त भाई कुछ यमन लाई निकरामर स्पॉट मानिए जब फ्रिकी कलागी यो स्पॉट वॉल निकने अलर्ट होने पर नहीं उनसा खयात को फ्रीकिक प्रहार तो फ्रेम मंदा बाई रखो एक उसका खयात को यो फ्रीकिक प्रहार First change of the match, jersey number 8, Mohamed Al Khayat is replaced by jersey number 18, Ahmad Aros, and uh, with that change in the commentary box, Nepali team, not quite the start that they wanted to the second half, but uh, on the latter part of that second half, uh, they've created some close opportunities. Shah Rai passes the ball. It's a long ball there to Anjan Bista. Who manages to win the, the Nepali side a throw in. And it looks like uh, we're going to have another substitution this time for Nepal. Aditya Chaudhary is being replaced by Devendra Tamang. Jersey number 6 Aditya Chaudhary being replaced by jersey number 5 Devendra Tamang. Seventh cap for uh, Devendra Tamang.
probably the biggest match of his career so far, Devendra Tamang. Will replace Aditya Chaudhary in the defense line, the center defense position. Anjan Bista loses the ball away cheaply and could this be an opportunity? Ahmed Nabil now passes the ball to Abdullah Al Sasi. Abdullah showing off his dribbling skills. Mahdi it was trying to get the ball close to the goal post. Has been defended. Not completely out of danger though. Playing the ball forward. In the D-box area of Nepal, not giving them any room to free their legs and offer a shot. And uh, in the L, it's brilliantly defended there. Kiran Chemjong now comes to the rescue. He's playing around with the forward players of uh, Yemen. Al Matari on that occasion. Nepal wouldn't be happy. With uh, only a draw, not especially after the kind of performance we've seen from the Nepali side attacking the Yemeni defense line, the goal post, still not enough to make a difference in the score sheet. Cleared. Navayuk Shrestha. Can't do any with thing with the ball. Well intercepted there by uh, Devendra Thamang. Plays for the three star club and now again attack mode on for uh, Yemen. We're into the 75th minute of the match. Uh, still nil nil. Ahmed Al Hafifi just bringing his uh, body on the line. Throw in for Nepal. Kamal Shrestha to take it. Passes it to Bishal Rai. Bishal has not been in form today. Bikram Lama would be playing in that center midfield position otherwise. Uh, but uh, was penalized uh, for a handball that drew a red card out of the referee's pocket uh, in the match against Philippines. Bishal again passes the ball. And uh, again another air ball. Uh, not playing to the Nepali team's strength. And uh, it will result in a throw in nevertheless. Quick throw in taken. No time to waste. Anjan Bista now. Anjan passes it all to Rohit Chand. The most experienced campaigner and uh, oh, not finding the frame. Two goal posts perhaps that would have been in. But in football we only have one. We have two but uh, two on either sides of the ground. Rohit Chand. Lot rested in his shoulder today. He's played up to his name though. No support from the midfield. We've only seen uh, Roy Chand all the way through. From the start till now, he's the one creating those opportunities. Intercepted by the Yemen midfielder. And now again on the charge. Al Matari pushes it forward. Too far. From Nabil. Who's looking to take the goalkeeper on with that pass, but... Uh, could not find it. There you go, the crowd. Whenever there's a game of the national team, crowd will always fill the seats. Whether that be a thousand, whether that be ten thousand, the number of tickets on offer are always sold and uh, that's the kind of support the Nepali team receives throughout Nepal. And gives the ball away cheaply there, Bharat Kawas. Throw in for Yemen. Biraj Mahajan, the captain intercepts and uh, that's intercepted again by Al Hifi. Nothing too special going on here on the ground. It looked like Yemen would play all attacking right from the start because uh, the number of players included in their side today. Five forward players playing in the midfield position and now that's a great opportunity. Too high. It was Ahmad Nabil. Received 
A good ball there. Corner of the D-box area. Should have really done more with that. Will be disappointed with himself. Kiran Chimjo. Anjan Bista. Anjan again. Almost fell. It's intercepted by his own player Navi, who did well there. Roy Chand again. Deflection there. Almost a goal. What an opportunity missed. Perhaps the deflection came as a blessing in disguise. The keeper had all his eyes on the forward player. Roy Chand with that attack deflected. My, that could have gone anywhere. Especially the Nepali fans would have liked it to hit the back of the net. Five shots on target for the Nepali team. Six for Yemen. But uh, that doesn't tell you a story. The Nepali have been more devastating for the Yemeni side when it comes to their attack. And uh, that deflection nearly earned them a goal. Now the corner kick. No one to receive. Too high. In fact, it's a throw-in. Anjan Bista has played well today. Intercepted again. Found himself unmarked there. Now again. Nepal on the charge and gives the ball away too cheaply this time, Anjan Bista. Who's trying to be cheeky. Not yielding success for the Nepali team on that occasion. Four corners for the Nepali team. Uh, some have been up to the standards, but some very wayward. And meanwhile, another change. Almad Al Hifi replaced by Razea. Now take Razea. Here we can see that again. It's uh, Roy who gets the ball and uh, he's known for his long distance effort. So he backs himself, goes for it. Mohamed Omar gets in the way and nearly converted that into a goal. Mohamed Omar got himself there. <laughs> Out of sleepless nights. If that had gone in... He could have said goodbye to two nights of sleep. Would have haunted him. Football players talk about that all the time. Not intentional though. Yemen yeah, again. Not their best side that they've brought to Nepal. Eight foreign national players. Only four of which came to Nepal and are playing this match. Free kick earned for Yemen. It looks like it's going to be Abdullah Al Sasi to take it. Uh, we'll put the ball in, try to give uh, the players out in the Nepali D box area from the Yemen side an air ball to capitalize on their height. And uh, that's what exactly is done. Kiran Chemjong up to the task to punch it. Punch it far enough, clearing the danger. He really has been a star today, Kiran Chemjong, except for that one lapse, which he did not let to be turned out as uh, too costly. You can see there again, the air ball, and Kiran Chemjong just has tremendous sighting of the ball and uh, just punches it. Well, those are good spots, I'll tell you that. Always nice to watch the football match from a certain height, and uh, they're making the best use of that terrace. It's a nice setting here at uh, the Holcho ground in the armed police force headquarters. If the weather clears enough, you can see the 
mountain range sliding up to the north of Kathmandu. Rohit Chant now. The weather forecast was uh, that it would be a little cloudy. Nothing has happened so far. No signs of rain at all. It's a bright sunny day. Perfect weather for an evenly matched football game. Just lingering around in the middle part of the ground, both teams. Nothing substantial. Has been brought down. Anjan Bista went down straight away, looks to be in some amount of pain and has immediately asked for medical assistance. Yeah, looked nasty that one. Ruiz it was. Bista had already eloped with the ball, just pulling him down and that must have hurt. Looks to be in tremendous amount of pain, not good signs. Anjan Bista has been good for the Nepali side today. Ten fouls committed by the Yemen national football team. There you go again. You're already gone and then just brought down. Not going for the ball there at all, Ruiz. There's no need for it. Business steps out of the playing area and will receive treatment in the sidelines. Rohit Chand, ball in. Too far to fetch for Sujal Shrestha. And now throw in to be taken by Aladdin Mahadi. Easily given away Parat Khawas it was who intercepted uh, but does well there. Ahmad Alos came in place of uh, Al Khayat. Alos again. Good ball in, uh, cleared well. Navayuk there with that haphazard clearance pass, whatever it was. Yeah, straight to the gloves of uh, the goalkeeper. It was Alos again. Pali national team currently ranked 169th in the FIFA rankings, Yemen 124, you can see there, it was topically with that uh, really easy revolutionary save uh, for uh, Kiran Chemjong, 124 versus 169 the game was supposed to be, but don't be fooled by Yemen being 124, they're a far better side than that, not brought have not been able to bring in their A game today. So another substitution then for Yemen. They're pulling out all the cards in the last few minutes of the match. So another change uh, for the Yemen side. Tafi Kali is replaced by Allo Maisi. They're looking to bring some fresh legs in the forward line. And uh, well, seems like we're going to have the first card of the match. Are we? Navayuk Shrestha brought down. Yeah, well. Both of them going for the ball. Al Radai and uh, Navik Shrestha. I think the referee has signaled uh, the foul in the favor of uh, the Nepali camp. You can see that again. Nothing intentional, just going in. Flying high to receive the ball there, Navik Shrestha and 
Alle dag. So another change then for uh, the Nepali camp. Uh, they want to bring in some fresh legs uh, in, in the forward line as well. The young superstar of Nepali football, Bimal Kharti Magar. Jersey number six is going to be replacing jersey number 14. Beg your pardon, Bimal playing here with jersey number seven on his shirt. Anjan Bista with jersey number 14 being replaced. Bimal. Every time he makes uh, his way in to the latter stage of the game, uh, it reminds of us of that match against Pakistan in the 2013 SAF Games held here in the Dashrat Stadium. Scored a very late goal there that uh, resulted in Nepal's win. Nepal qualified to the semi-finals of that tournament. With the favourites to win that tournament. Didn't happen well, Bimal Ghati Magar. He's come a long way from that. A lot of exposure, a lot of training, a lot of facilities he's received. Can he make it count? It's a good time for him to come in. Bimal immediately takes his place in the forward line. Free kick. Oh, that looked like it was going in for a moment. Ambitious attempt. Vishal Rai it was. For a moment though, it looked like it was going to go in. But uh, even if it had been in the frame, the goalkeeper for Yemen, Ibrahim Ali Hayash, had the ball sighted. There you go. Yeah, clean vision for the goalkeeper. Even if it was on the frame, he would have... Uh, Pushed it over, blocked it. Now Bimal getting his first touch of the game, at least trying to. And what is that by Navi Ukshresta? Lucky passes or lucky efforts aren't going to get the Nepali team home. They've got a plan, they've got to be strategic, they've got to be furious really at this stage of the game. There again, testing the Nepali line of defense. This time they stand out. Uh, Bharat Kawas it is, who has uh, moved back. And that, that certainly asked for a card. Only a yellow perhaps. Asked for more. That tackle and the replay will tell you that we, wherever we are seated at the commentary box, this happened right in front of us. And since he could not win the ball from Bharat Kawas, it was a kick that he offered Bharat Kawas instead. Like, as, as you can see there. Really not in the spirit of the game. Perhaps frustration there. We're correcting that on the television screen. Rohit Chan. Brings Almatari down. It doesn't matter. Alright, Bharat Kawas could be one of the last opportunities of the game. Tried to put in that cross through Navi Akshasta. What was he thinking? He should have gone for the ball. And in the end, the, the player from behind, Muhammad, came in and received the ball. The crowd got excited because they thought there was a chance, uh, but uh, the linesman had already signaled that it was an offside. The flag going up. Navi has not looked to be in the primest of forms today. And the goal scoring wars for Nepal continue in this game as well. Foul given. And another substitution for Nepal. She gives, gets a feeling that they're just trying to kill some time here. Happy with the goal, let's draw is what Kozi Gyotoku told us before the match. During the match, however, the Nepali players were very effective, especially with the attack. And uh, now they're going to add another fresh leg. Anil Gurung is going to be replacing Navayuk Shrestha. Anil Gurung, an experienced campaigner.
has scored 11 match goals already in 48 matches that he's played can he make it 12 can he make it count is it Anil Gurung's day today for now it's a free kick uh, for the Yemen side uh, not getting too far with that kick and uh, not getting too far with that kick either or perhaps a little too far Chen Dong will deliver the ball as far as he can not much time remaining in fact put into the last minute of the match this could be the last opportunity for the Nepali team to produce a shot and to try to convert it into a goal and they've got to be quick here yeah long distance efforts won't help long distance passing hasn't helped the Nepali team either in today's match Ball out of play, throw in for Nepal. Perhaps the last time they will hold possession of the ball in today's match. Uh, Any time now, the referee will look at the watch and uh, blow the whistle. Viraj Maharjan has just given in his captain armband to Anil Gurung. Uh, only for the final second of the match, it seems. The referee, Fazulin, blows the whistle and an exciting game comes to an end with the scoreline reading nil-nil for both sides. Nepal came out very strongly, especially on the attack line, which was not expected out of the Nepali team in today's match. Yemen showed some resilience at the start of the second half and then... Uh, the pendulum swayed, the momentum swayed. Nothing much happening. It's perhaps too early to speculate, uh, but we've been told before the match as well, and we've been told now as well. One of Nepal's star forward players, Anil Gurung, could announce his retirement today. And I say could. Applaud to the crowd, the crowd applauding the players. Well, at least nobody has to go home sad. It's a goalless draw, which means Nepal is uh, still on the hunt for a position in the AFC Asian Cup UAE. It's supposed to be held in 2019, two years from now. Rohit Chan played excellently well today. He was the backbone of the midfield today. Kiran Chemjong. Amazing saves. Bimal Ghati Magar. I don't think he could touch the ball. Anil Gurungi couldn't do it either. They came in in the last minutes of the match and, uh, well. The presence of, uh, the absence of Bikram Lama definitely hurting the Nepali side. Uh, Especially the strength of the midfield. 